I'm Colleen from ColleenZBCs.com and I have an art idea for you. It's making an Eskimo, just the head of an Eskimo, okay? Now let me tell you the things that you will need and how you can go about making it with children, okay? So you'll need a paper plate, any one you have. This is the one I had. Yep, it has flowers on it, but if you have one that's plain, that would probably be a little bit better, but it's okay because they'll get covered up. So a paper plate is great. Some marshmallows or cot cotton balls. I was going to use cotton balls, but I don't have any. So I was just thinking that, oh wait, I have marshmallows, that would work. You know what else that would work would for the fur part would be um, like some paper towels and you could just crumple those up or some tissue or toilet paper or something like that and just tear it apart. And then you can just crumple them up and glue them on. Anything really will work. Okay, whatever you can think of. Glue, any kind of glue. I like Elmer's just because it always works for me. And it always works for children. And so that's why I use Elmer's. But any type of glue will work just fine. Um, some markers if you would like for children to draw a face. Of course, if you would like to just cut out the eyes and the nose and the mouth, you could do that as well. But I like to have markers because I like to just have children draw it because it's just, just gives them a little more personality, I think. Of course, you could do the googly eyes and all of that. That's totally up to you, okay? So, what I was thinking about for the marshmallows is, of course, children will want to eat them, and that's fine. You can maybe do four marshmallows or whatever. You know, whatever you think, as long as they're okay to eat them. Um, so, for the marshmallows, now all I have are mini ones, okay? That's just what I had because I didn't want to go out and buy them. I just like to use whatever I have. So this is all I had. You could use the big, huge marshmallows. That would take up more space on there, and that would work great. Or like I said, you could think of it some other ways to do it. Just put some glue around the edge. So this will be the face of the Eskimo, and then we can glue the marshmallows on for the fur, like the coat that they wear that wraps around their head, and they have the fur on there. You may want to even show the children a picture of Eskimos and what they look like. You know, just regular people, but then, then the different clothes that they wear so they know what this, the marshmallow or the cotton balls or the paper towels represent, the fur, okay, on their coat. Okay, so they can glue those on like that. And then, um, and then like I said, you can just have them draw a face on there, okay? Or you can add other things and then they can cut things out and draw things as well. Okay, so when they are squeezing this glue bottle, it is a great, great small motor skill. It strengthens those muscles in their hands, builds them up for writing, turning that glue bottle over and squeezing. Great, great, great small motor skill, okay? Those marshmallows, the paper, whatever you're using, the cotton balls, when they're picking them up, they're working those muscles in their hands, okay? They're working, they're using their pincher fingers, their grasping fingers, the fingers that they hold onto a utensil with, they're picking them up. Great small motor skill. They're taking a paper plate and making it into an Eskimo. What a great imagination, right? That's wonderful. So they're working on small motor skills. They're working on their imagination. Such a wonderful skills that they're working on. I hope that you enjoy this idea and that you have fun with it. Bye.